Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Meisner, and I work on exam development here at NCARB. With the upcoming launch of ARE 5.0, we'd like to give you a quick demonstration of one of our new item types, drag and place. In this video, we'll walk through an example and share tips on how to use the tools at the test center. In ARE 5.0, drag and place items will be used to ask graphic specific questions. These questions will always have a question at the top of the screen, a background drawing, and a series of design elements or tokens down the left side or across the top. What you see here is similar to what you'll experience in the testing center. As the name suggests, to solve these problems, simply drag the design elements and place them in the correct location on the background drawing. In this question, we are creating the assembly for a brick cavity wall in climate zone 6. To solve this question, I'm going to start from the interior side of the wall and work my way out. I will drag the metal framing over to support the jip board. I will place my sheathing over that. And because we are designing for climate zone 6, I will place the air slash vapor barrier before I place the rigid insulation. You are able to go back and revise your answer, but keep in mind your final answer is scored based on where each of the design elements are located when you exit the exam. On some drag and place questions, you may need to place one token multiple times. On other questions, you may not be required to use all of the tokens provided. Right-clicking on a token allows you to rotate it, but it is not necessary on this specific question. All drag and place items will be worth one point each. Thanks for joining me as I demonstrate the new ARE 5.0 drag and place items. Be sure to check out our other videos on the new hotspot items and case studies. For more information about ARE 5.0, please visit ncarb.org.